Welcome aboard, welcome aboard to study room uh, KE, a platform where we demystify learning. And today we want to take you through and, uh, the topic animals. Another animals we want to uh, deal with types of animal feeds. This particular topic is uh, very, very uh, important to pupils and students um, in um, class 6 onwards. So if you, are a, you have a student in class 6 or you are a student in class 6, 7, 8, from one, from two, and to from four, then um, this particular topic is good for you. So under this particular topic, uh, we want to know about types of animal feeds. Before starting us off, I would like first of all to request you go to um, our YouTube page, click on the button, click on the button, the bell that is there. Ring the bell so that uh, you get the notification whenever we upload any new video. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Study Room KE. You can also follow us on Facebook, uh, Study Room KE, or on Twitter, S Room KE. S capital, R capital, the rest are small letters. So types of animal feeds, we want to concentrate on pastures, fodder crops, conserved feeds, commercial feeds, and concentrates. So what are pastures? What are pastures? These are type of feed which animal graze on directly. Pastures are made up of grasses and legumes. As you can see on uh, our, our, our clip, um, it's a big field and it's made up of uh, grasses and legumes. An example of pastures that we are going, uh, we are dealing with, we have the kikuyu grass, the star grass, the road grass, and the Nandisateria. Nandisateria, uh, those are the types of uh, pasture that we are going to concentrate on. So briefly to uh, take you through example of legumes, you have the Desmodium, the Glycine, and the Clove. Clover. Now you need to understand that uh, legumes are very, very important to animals because they provide um, animals with protein uh, for the body. And you remember, you know, uh, the functions of protein to our body, the repair of worn out tissues to these particular animals. So the example of legumes, you have desmodium, glycine, and clover. The second uh, feed that you want to talk about um, is a fodder crop. And uh, you must understand that um, they are cut and taken to the animal to feed on them. Uh, animals feed on fodder crops indirectly. And the example of fodder crops that you want to talk about are napia grass. We have the kelp, the sugar, cane, uh, the sugar beets, um, the maize stock, banana stem, and uh, many, many more. Next, after fodder crops, you, we also have conserved feeds, and here we are going to talk about two hay and silage. There are only two types of uh, animal feed, uh, or conserved feeds, and these are hay and uh, silage. And uh, the difference between the two is that um, hay is uh, cut, dried, and preserved for future use, and while uh, silage is uh, dried, uh, is not dried. Instead, it is compressed and fermented. And uh, silage is stored in silos, while uh, we talk about hay, hay is kept in, into bales or kept in stacks. If you check on the two photos, you are able to check on which one is hay and which one is um, silage. So after conserved feeds, uh, we deal now with commercial feeds. And uh, there are feeds made in factories and sold in shops. And they include uh, the pollard, the bran, the dairy, meal, and the maize jam. Remember that uh, concentrates are added to commercial feeds to make them more nutritious. So as we come to the end of uh, this particular presentation, I'd like us to I'd just like to call upon each and everybody who is following. Make sure that you hit on the bell for notification. Make sure that you also subscribe, inform a friend to inform a friend to follow Study Room KE both on uh, Facebook and on Twitter and also on uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube Study Room KE, Facebook Study Room KE, and uh, Twitter on S. R capital, S R capital, and uh, remember it is S room, K E S capital R capital, and the rest small letters. Now, 
uh, example of concentrates and uh, the nutrients that they bring to the body. So th when we talk about sunflower seeds, they contain proteins, vitamins, and oils, while uh, salt lake um, contains vitamins and uh, mineral salts. Bone meals, uh, another example of concentrate that contains calcium. And uh, we talk about fish meal. Fish meal contains uh, different nutrients, and these are vitamins, oils, proteins, and uh, calcium so uh, these are very very important to animals so we've learned about uh, animal feeds which are very important to us because if you're rearing any of the animals you need to understand what is necessary and what is important for this particular animal if it is in terms of protein in terms of vitamins or in terms of uh, uh, mineral salts or even um, carbohydrates uh, guys, we've come to the end of this particular topic and I'd really like to appreciate you and thank you until we meet again the next slide, uh, next presentation and the next occasion. Make sure that you click on the bell, click on the bell for many good rewards ahead. See you soon.